Spike explains the Scottish second vote, the de Haunt method. The de Haunt method is not hard to understand. The effect it has in the Scottish election is a bit more complicated. At each round of the election, each party's total vote is divided by the number of elected members it has so far, plus one. If your party has 400 votes and three elected members, you add one onto the three, giving you four. So your de Haunt vote is the 400 divided by four, the three plus one. 400 divided by four gives you 100, so your vote is now 100, and 300 or your 400 votes aren't counted. Let's run three pet elections to see how it works. The first election is one like the European elections with no constituency seats. In this election, the de Haunt method works really quite well. There are three parties. We have the dog party, the cat party, and the rabbit party. We get 10,000 voters, five seats to allocate. There's no constituency seats. The dog party has 4,000 votes. Cat Party has 3,500 votes and the Rabbit Party has 2,500 votes. So there's no seats already, so the seat so far is zero. So all we're doing for each of them is adding one onto the zero and getting one. So we're dividing by one and getting the same number. So for the Dog Party, with 4,000, we take 4,000 divided by one and we've got the same number, 4,000. Same goes for the cat party, 3,500 divided by 1 gives us a 3,500. And for the rabbit party, 2,500 divided by 1 gives you 2,500. Now have a look on the dog party, it's the biggest vote, so a dog is elected. Now let's see what happens to the votes. We've got one seat now, so we'll add 1 onto the 1, giving us 2. So we've got 4,000 divided by 2, and the dog's left with 2,000 votes. So now you can see the cat party has got the largest amount of votes, so a cat's elected. Same happens to the cat's votes. The cat now has one seat, so one plus one, we add one onto it, and we get two. So 3,500 divided by two gives you 1,750 votes. Looking again, we can see now the rabbit party has the highest vote, so rabbit selected, and the same goes for the rabbit's vote. One seat plus the one gives you two. Dividing by two gives you 1,250. Now you can see the dog party now is in the lead, so another dog's elected. So the dog's vote goes down again because it's now got two seats, so two plus one gives you three. So dividing by three gives you 1,333. And looking now, we get another cat for the last elected. So a cat gets elected and the final vote you can see the dog party had 40% of the votes and got 40% of the seats. The cat party gets 35% of the vote and gets 40% of the seats and the rabbit party has 25% and gets 20. So they're all very close. The cat gets slightly more, the rabbit gets slightly less. But for this sort of election the de Haunt method is very well. Now let's run an election similar to the Scottish elections with first-past-the-post constituency seats. The scenario is the Dog Party has run a referendum on leaving the humans, which it lost narrowly. The Cat Party and Rabbit Party had joined together to campaign against leaving and have now lost support. With the same three parties, the Dog Party, the Cat Party and the Rabbit Party, we'll get 10,000 voters, seven constituency seats with five seats to allocate. In this time, all the dog party voters vote for the dog party on the second vote as well. But first we'll take a look at the seven constituency seats and the dogs get all the seven constituency seats with 55% of the vote. Now, if the vote holds for the second vote, the dog party is 5,500, cat party is 2,500 and the rabbit party is 2,000. Now the dog party has seven seats so far, so now it's seven plus one is eight. So we're going to divide the dog party by eight. So 5,500 divided by eight leaves it with only 688 votes. The cat party is zero, so you're going to divide by zero plus one gives you one, leaving the cat party with the same vote. 
And the rabbit party, it's the same. We're dividing by one, so we're going to get the same vote. So it gets a 2,000. Now have a look, and you'll see the cat party gets the first vote, so a cat's elected, and as usual, the cat's vote goes down. So it's now got one seat, so one plus one is two, so we're going to divide the cat's vote by two, leaving it with 1,250 votes. You can now see that a rabbit's now going to get elected. So the rabbit gets elected and its vote now goes down because you've got 1 plus the 1 giving you 2. So it's 2,000 divided by 2 and it gets 1,000 votes. Looking again, you can see now the cat party gets the next seat because it's got the largest vote. So a cat's elected. And the cat's vote now goes down because it's now got two seats, plus one gives you three. And so it vote goes down and it's left with 833 votes. Now the rabbit party is elected because it's got the biggest number of seats. The rabbit party's vote goes down. It's divide, now divided by three. So we've now got 667 votes. And... The last seat goes to the cat party with the largest vote. Now, if you have a look at how it worked out, you'll see the dog party got 55% of the vote and gained 58% of the seats. Cat party and 25 got, got its 25, and the rabbit party got slightly less than the 20%, with 17%. Now let's look at pet election three. In the previous election, none of the dog party's second votes counted. What if around half of the dog party's voters voted for other pro-yes, smaller parties in the second vote? This time we've got dog party, cat party, rabbit party, but we've also got the hamster party and the gerbil party. We've got 10,000 voters, seven constituency seats with five seats to allocate. As, as the last one, 55% are voting for the dog party in the first vote, so all the dogs are going to get elected. But this time, some of the dog voters are going to vote for other parties in the second vote. So this means that the dog party is only left with 2,800 instead of 5,500. The cat party's got 2,500, and the rabbit party's got 2,000. But this time... 1,500 of the dog party voters have voted for the hamster party and there's also 1,200 that's voted for the gerbil party. So we're going to have a look and see what effect this is going to have in the vote. So on seats so far, as in the last election, since the dog party got all the constituency seats, the dog party has seven plus one is eight, it's divided by. So that leaves with only 350. Cat party has got zero, so add one, that gives you one, so it's going to stay the same as in the last election. Rabbit party is divided by one, so it'll stay the same as in the last election. Hamster party is lower, but its vote stays the same at 1,500. So it's not going to count now, but we'll see later on, and it's left with 1,500. And the gerbil party, with its 1,200, is still left with its 1,200 votes. Now have a look and you'll see that a cat part, the cat part is won and a cat's elected. As usual, the cat's vote goes down. It's now got one seat, so add one onto it and that gives you two. So it's left with 1,250. So now we look and the rabbit party wins and a rabbit's elected. The rabbit's vote goes down and it's now two divided, so it's 2,000 divided by two gives you 1,000. And you see now we find that the hamster party can get a seat here because the hamster is elected. The hamster's vote now goes down because it's divided by two, so it lands at 750. And if we look, cat party slightly beaten the gerbil party, so another cat is elected. And the cat party's vote goes down because it's now 2 plus 1 is 3. So you divide by 3 and we get 
833. But you now see that the gerbil can now get in and the gerbil comes down. So the gerbil is selected. So now you can see that we've now got nine seats for the yes party and the no parties have just got three. So although the, the dog party voters were only 5,500 or 55%, the actual number of seats that's gained is 75%, which is a, a huge increase, and that's the effect of tactically voting for the smaller parties. This was just a short video to show how the DeHaunt method works. As a summary, the DeHaunt method is not hard to understand. At each round of an election, each party's total vote is divided by the number of elected members it has so far, plus one. By voting for a different party in the second vote, you can have a greater effect on the final makeup of the Parliament. I hope you enjoyed my little video with my little animal characters and that you've understood a little bit more of how the DeHaunt method works.